Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld uh, with a Digital Rebar OpenStack demo. Uh, this is a special use case uh, that we got asked to build uh, that we call ROWS, Rebar OpenStack Environment. Uh, you can find it in the provision content under ROWS. Uh, and the documentation, we don't build this automatically, um, but there's actually a some documentation at least uh, buried under all these pieces. It's not a production um, environment. It uses uh, DevStack. So the idea here is this is a DevStack driver. Um, right now I'm, I'm showing a single node implementation. I have a machine set up. In this case it's a packet um, metal one. So it's a, a 16 gig. It's not the, the, the tinies. It's a, it's a regular machine. Uh, and so in this case what I can do is I can run um, I've already got it. I've booted it. It's discovered in Sledgehammer Wait. And there's a workflow called Rose Cluster Install. This is comes with the content pack for Rose. And it will install Ubuntu 18.04, install the runner, uh, and then finish the install. Uh, go in, do SSH access, packet keys, and then run Rose config. I'm going to go ahead and start that process. Um, so on this machine, I will go ahead, pick Rose Install Cluster, go. And uh, at this point, it's going to churn through the process. So it's rebooting the machine, it's installing. Um, it's 13 after the hour right now. Uh, and that'll take a little bit of time. So it's got to do the full Ubuntu install. Uh, and then it'll do the, the OpenStack install. Uh, we've already um, done this once, and I, I can actually look at the this is a new view in Digital Rebar, if you haven't seen it, that actually takes past completed jobs, not in process jobs, and then shows you all the steps um, that are going. So this is the workflow that I just showed you, and this is a previous run, so you can look at the time every step takes. Um, the install for Ubuntu is not counted here, um, which is also another 15 minutes or so, I believe. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. And um, then it just runs the OpenStack config. If I dive into this task, um, what you'll see is this <laughs> loading the log, which is pretty long. Um, it's going to go through and um, actually run. Um, it's going to elect a controller. This is ultimately designed to be multi-node. And then run DevStack. Uh, it has to run it twice because the rabbit stage always fails, so we ignore that. And then ultimately get through a OpenStack release, which I will show you after we've completed all these steps. Um, bit of time. Uh, so that is the machines. Um, there's some Kubernetes. I have a Kubernetes cluster running here. One thing to keep in mind, um, oops, uh, I didn't, uh, yeah, so if I was building a multi-node controller, I, I would want, have wanted to reset. So remember, just like any other rebar cluster pattern, you need, you want to uh, remove, in this case it's just one node, so I didn't have to clean things up, but um, you want to remove everything except rows config. And as a matter of fact, we added a, a hidden button that lets you just click this button and reset. So if you were doing multiple rows uh, installs, you can click this button. It'll wipe out the parameters it doesn't need uh, and reset it back. So it just keeps the cluster profile, which you must name to be rows. So when you set this up to do it yourself, go into your profiles, find the example one, clone it. It's a pretty standard pattern now and call it demo whatever you were whatever you want uh, name the profile has to be, match these two things that's the one requirement and you say go and now i could take a machine i'm just stalling the open stack's going to take a while and i have to put it in the profile so over here i have to add that profile in um, i could there's a new Tons of new little uh, features hit running around. Um, so I could create a new uh, demo machine. I want bare metal one. It's not going to happen too e quickly either because Packet takes a while to provision these machines. Um, but at this point, I now have another machine called demo zero. It has an IP address in Packet. It's going to go through the process. And I could, um, oh, and what I would do is I would come in here, put it in the demo profile. Yay. And uh, that profile now would be able, obviously I should uh, like change the icons and change colors makes it a little bit easier because it's easier to distinguish different profiles. Um, but in this case, this is that one profile. 
So um, when the machine comes in, I'll be able to go in and, and install a second OpenStack cluster side by side. And obviously you can automate all this stuff using uh, Terraform um, and create a complete sweep through. So create the machine. So we have some videos of this for Kubernetes. It's not hard to do. Create the machines and pack it. Once they're up, then automatically put them through the next st stage in the process so you can really minimize your install times and then when you're done, destroy everything, clean things up. Um, so that's that's pretty complete. Um, well, it looks like OpenStack is now going through our finished install process, um, which does not mean it's finished. It's just, it, let me see where we are in the process. Yeah, so we're here for the whole install, so you can actually... Uh, these, these icons show you the different processes that we're going to go through. These, these last ones are the ins OpenStack installer, so we're just doing the, uh, the machines up at least and now going through uh, provisioning. All right, so I'm, I'm, oh, and I do have something to show you before I uh, pause the video and come back for it, it having finished baking. Uh, if you want to upload Rose content yourself, Racken does not provide this as a content bundle, so you have to clone the provision digital rebar provision content you go into the rows directory you set up your environment variables so that you can talk to the cluster uh, machines list uh, let's see I want dot name um, so you can you know get your cluster attached using environment variables for drpcli so that's all easy and set and then from there, when I'm in the rows directory, I need to drpcli contents bundle rows. Handy. And then uh, all I have to do is then upload the same command. And usually we put these together uh, on a single command line. But um, sorry, not update. Upload. And so when you do this, this will push uh, your Rose content bundle into the digital rebar endpoint. And then you have the benefit of being able to actually modify, expand, add, add documentation uh, pieces into that content pack. So this is how you modify and extend any content pack. Uh, this is our pattern. Uh, we do not recommend using the, the UI to modify uh, the content infrastructure. Uh, you can. It's just, uh, you can get a little bit on. And then what happens when you do that, all these things come in read-only, so it's super easy to edit on my local system and then run that command line to update. Uh, here's my template. Here's the actual code uh, that does all that. And if you want to see the code, you can go into rows, templates. Let's see, here is the config. Drives everything. This runs. This is the code that runs it using GoLang template expansion, and we actually have the config files. Yay! Like here's the controller config file. Determines all these pieces, right? We're injecting parameters and things like that, and then the parameters, rows, parameters, and then things that you can set. Um, so pretty straightforward. Now you know how to actually upload and push your own version of this uh, into. Uh, into your cluster and then you can easily play. Uh, this other machine is now ready to start a parallel install. So I could have modified the code, click go and modify the, in modify the install. And that, so if I just want to res install cluster, now I am now installing a second res cluster uh, in parallel on the same system. Uh, and I'm gonna check back in after this finishes. Um, here's our OpenStack cluster building, but it's gonna take a while. <laughs> and this is uh, OpenStack's logging, if not our choices here. Um, so, yeah, it'll, it'll pump out a lot of logs. I'll come back in a little while and show you how to I'll actually show you that OpenStack installed. All right, so we're back. Both of our uh, clusters have finished. Let me actually see where we stand with some of this. Pretty consistent, 15 minutes to do the OpenStack install pieces. Uh, let's see. So if I actually look through my job logs. Uh, so this one, this is demo. Uh, OpenStack 0. Completed. 
let's see, 34 or so, you know, 15 minutes, not so bad. Um, to get every everything running on that, um, plus the Linux install, so, you know, it's, it's all right, it's good. So I want to show you how to access the actual installs. So here's my OpenStack cluster. Uh, it is not HTTPS. That is seriously sad to me, but that's the way it is. Uh, so admin name, so what we need to do to get our admin name and such, um, I can go into the job log back here for this completed cluster. Mm -hmm. And let's see, here's my OpenStack. That's stage complete. Heroes config, demo zero. Let me strive down a little bit. Hmm. Uh, OpenStack. So these are all the OpenStack installs. Rose config, Rose config is the task that did it. You can see it took 15 minutes and it's gonna take a little while to pull the log back because there's a lot of log. And, woohoo. And this is, by the way, I'm running these uh, on packet. They have to have internet access to pull everything down. Let's see, so it's gonna tell me it did stuff. Here we go, let's see. Default users are admin and demo. Password is no thorns. That looks probably right uh, for Rose. Rose, no thorns, sorry. Uh, admin and demo. So over here, admin, capital N, zero, T H O R N S. Let's see if that worked. <gasps> Look at that. We have an OpenStack cluster. Shouldn't be that surprised. Um, but uh, yeah, so now you can go through and play with OpenStack. It takes, you know, 15 minutes to do a completely automated install. I just built two, so let me uh, bring up my second one too. Here's demo zero, that's IP address, not secure. Uh, admin, no thorns. And you can change the password, by the way, that's just the default. Uh, in the perimeter. Look at that, a second OpenStack cluster. So I have two OpenStack clusters. Um, there is logic in place to actually build a multi-node cluster. It still needs a little bit of work and love, um, but this is open source stuff. So knock yourself out and uh, look at the code and figure out how to do the networking and things necessary to build the, the multi-stack cluster. All the cluster building, getting the IP addresses and all that stuff is in place. So all you have to do is figure out OpenStack configuration. That's the easy part, right? All right, enough shade on OpenStack. Um, but this is it. Uh, if you want to install OpenStack, I have shown you where to get the code. I have shown you how to clone it. I have shown you how to bundle it. I have shown you how to execute it. Uh, and the only thing left to do is show you how to destroy it. So if I want to destroy OpenStack here, I just click uh, the reset button. And it's literally, because it's changed the operating system, it's going to reboot the machine and go through and put you back in uh, Discover and you just have to start the workflow again. Uh, that's it. I know, I know, I know you're thinking, can the Rack and team make things harder because this is too easy? Uh, no, we won't, sorry. Not in our list of things to do. Uh, if you have questions about Digital Rebar, jump in the community, uh, we'll, we'll work with you. Uh, happy to try and get you going and, and make everything work. Um, we're super proud of uh, this type of work because we feel like it really changes the game for ops, and uh, we want you to be a part of it. Thanks.